All right, so today we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite makeup topics. I love a good nude lip. You know when you just find that perfect nude lipstick and you're like, this is what I've been wanting in life. It can be tricky to find a good nude. There are so many different undertones with the nude lipsticks. A nude that might look like a light nude on someone a few shades darker than me will look like a dark nude on my skin tone and vice versa, obviously. So it's always kind of hard to find that perfect nude lip. And I have a bunch here to share with you of my favorites in this little bag which is actually like perfectly matching. I did a video on my favorite nude lipsticks for pale skin a few years ago. So this is kind of like the updated version. And a lot of these products I've actually found in about the last like eight months, I wanna say, so fairly recent. Some of them are newer launches and they're just perfection. I mix a lot of these to get the perfect nude. You can use some of them to lighten nude lipsticks that you already have. If you're new here, my skin tone is usually a few shades lighter than this. Just a heads up, I was at like a cabin beach weekend thing, so I still have on a little bit of self-tanner, but normally I have more fair skin than this, so the recommendations I'm giving are based on my usual skin tone. So if you're excited for this video and you enjoy while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Anytime you guys comment, thumbs up the video, it does help out. So thank you guys for those of you who take the time to do that. But if you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. So I'm only repeating like a couple from that last video. So if you want more recommendations, definitely check out that video because I still recommend and use a lot of the ones from that video a few years ago. Okay, so starting off, I have two lipsticks here from Huda Beauty. The formula of these, the shades of these, these, everything are just like spot on to me. They're matte lipsticks. I'm wearing the shade Anniversary right now, but Staycation and Anniversary are kind of like my two go-tos. Staycation is really unique. It's almost like a chocolatey, milky brown color. Okay. <laughs> bad placement, Taylor. Why did I do that? So here's Staycation. Here's the shade Anniversary. Staycation, it's hard to find nudes that have this brown undertone that aren't too dark. And Staycation is beautiful for layering, for wearing on its own. It's just a really nice, true, neutral tone. When I go for nude lips on my skin tone, I feel like what I like best is usually a neutral nude lip or one that leans more pink. I don't love super peachy nudes. Some of them can work, but some of them just look too orange. So I love when I find a tone like this that's just like super neutral, almost more like cool toned. But this shade, Anniversary, like I said, is the one I'm wearing right now. It just has a little bit more warmth to it. This one looks super pretty layered with a gloss. If you need a nude lip for like a wedding or event kind of makeup, this shade layered with a pinky gloss is super pretty. But the formula of these Huda Beauty lipsticks too are just so beautiful. They're super pigmented. They're fully matte but they're comfortable, they don't feel drying, and they're pretty long lasting. They're not gonna have as much staying power as like a liquid lipstick, but they do last pretty well through just eating and drinking coffee and all of that. It's not transfer proof, but for being just a normal lipstick, they last pretty well. I hope Huda Beauty comes out with even lighter nude shades because I would purchase the crap out of those. And I feel like these will also work for a lot of different skin tones. Anytime I wear lipstick lipsticks like this, not a liquid lipstick, I'll usually use a lip liner. So two of my go-tos that I can't live without, Morphe Love Bite. This is what I'm wearing today with Anniversary. And it just gives the perfect like shadow to your lip. So I, I do overline my bottom lip. I don't usually overline my top lip because it just looks like a little bit weird on my lip shape, but it gives a really nice shadow under here to make your lip look a little bit bigger. It's not too peachy, not too pink. It's just a nice neutral undertone, and it's really good for layering with pretty much any nude lip, so love, love, love bite. My other go-to liner that I've been talking about for years is Rimmel 32 Innocent. So here's the two next to each other. As you can see, they're pretty similar, but the top one right here is Morphe, the bottom one is Rimmel. The Rimmel one is definitely a little bit lighter and a little tiny bit more cool tone. Next up are two drugstore options that I reach for all of the time. If you have very fair skin and you find it hard to find nude lips that are light enough, you will love these and they're just really great for layering. Both are by CoverGirl. It's the shade 225 Dolce de Leche and the other one is 230 Cream. So obviously these two are way lighter than the Huda Beauty ones and they're also much more pink toned. So this one is cream and then the bottom one is Dolce de Leche, which is more of a nude, but it definitely has some pink in it still. I usually use Dolce de Leche a little bit more because that one's not quite as pink, but these are just awesome for layering. I'll just show you how I would kind of layer. I'm going to put down Staycation and then I'm going to add Dolce de Leche over top. So here's Staycation. Now we're going to add that right over top. So as you can see, that just looks so freaking pretty. It's like the perfect amount of nude right there. And you can basically just create a whole new 
lipstick color. So definitely recommend these. They're affordable, especially if you have more fair skin. Get Dolce de Leche. It's going to be life-changing. The CoverGirl ones are definitely more of like a cream formula. They're not going to be matte. They're not going to be super long-lasting. You do have to reapply. So that's the downside to these ones, but the shades are beautiful. All right, next up is another one from the drugstore. I basically consider this like a mix between a gloss and a lipstick. It's called a high shine lipstick, but I kind of think of it more as like a super pigmented gloss. But this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick in the shade Caught You Bare Naked. I've talked about this so many times. It has such a beautiful, perfect, neutral nude shade. Again, this one is amazing for layering because it basically lightens up anything. This one is even a little bit lighter than the two CoverGirl ones. It's definitely much more cool toned. It almost has like a little bit of purple in there. So if you like really cool toned nude, you would love this. It does have a glossy finish to it. It doesn't dry down matte. It is a high shine lipstick. Hair. Next up is one that I think may have been included in the last video, but this is still a liquid lipstick that I could not live without. This is one of my go-tos when I just want something long lasting, but I still want a super nude nude. I can layer it with stuff. It's the Sephora 32 liquid lipstick. So this one and 33, I both love. I both love. I love both. If you like a good matte nude liquid lipstick and you need something that's just going to last all day, this one is great. It can be a little bit drying, but I don't find it to be like overly drying and you can always put a little bit of a gloss over top. So this one's like almost exactly the color of my shirt. I would say this one has a little bit of peach, especially when it's on my lips. It does look more neutral peach than just straight neutral or cool tone. If you're naturally like a few shades darker than I normally am, closer to like this skin tone or a little bit darker, I think the shade 33 might be better for you than 32, but if you're more fair, I would go 32. So this one's by Hourglass, so definitely more like high-end option, but this one formula-wise kind of reminds me of the Liquid Catsuit, just because it's more of like a super pigmented gloss. It looks beautiful on top of just like a lip liner or nothing, but this is in the shade Unreal and it is unreal. This one I feel like would be such a pretty fall nude lip. It's not too light, it's not too dark, it has a little bit of like mauve in there. It smells amazing. It smells like spearmint gum, and I love the paddle wand applicator on here. This one just feels so nice and like luxurious gliding across your lips. It is pretty shiny, like it does give that high shine kind of effect, so I love this one layered on top of just a lip liner or on top of other things. Next up we have two shades by NARS. These are their Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. These have been around for forever, but I feel like it wasn't until the last couple years where I really got into these. These are great. They feel just nice and like velvety gliding on. They remind me kind of of the Huda Beauty ones actually, just like lasting power wise and the finish and how they're matte but they don't feel too drying. But my two favorite shades, this one needs to be desperately sharpened. My favorite one is Belle Du Jour. It's looking a lot more peach compared to all these. It's weird how when you line them up, you can really see a difference in all the undertones, but when they're on your lips, you're like, hmm, those kind of all look the same. Here's Belle Du Jour, here's Good Times. This one's obviously a bit lighter. It looks like Good Times is actually the darkest so far. Here's a close-up look of all these for you. If you don't like the formula of the CoverGirl lipsticks, but you want something that's going to really lighten everything up, this is a dead nude, like fully dead, in your casket, nude nude. MAC Best of Me is where it's at. I have some other uh, lipstick on there right now, but I'm going to swatch it for you. So Best of Me is a nude, folks. It is nude. If you have very fair skin, you need to buy Best of Me because this is going to be a perfect actual nude shade on you, or you could use it for lightening other ones. But I also have swatched next to it Influentially It. Both of these shades are part of the MAC Powder Kiss line, which came out, I want to say, this year. For being called Powder Kiss, they're not as, like, matte and powdery as I thought. Some of them almost have, like, a cream finish, but let me show you. So here, mm, it's gonna be hard. So here's the lightest nude we have talked about so far. This is Best of Me, and here's Influentially It. So Influentially It is obviously quite a bit darker. It has almost, like, a little bit of peach in there, but still a bit cool toned. I love both of these, but if I need a nude nude for lightening up anything, I almost always reach for Best of Me down here. 
super nude, has a little bit of like pink tone. I like how they didn't make that one too orangey. Sometimes the really nude shades have just too much peach in them where they just look kind of like off when they're on your lips. Because this one has a little bit more of a pink undertone, it looks super pretty. So if you are very fair, I would say definitely invest in Best of Me for your collection. Next up is one of my all-time favorite liquid lipstick nude shades. I think I discovered this, I wanna say in the past couple years, so this wasn't in that other video. This is the BH Cosmetics Liquid Linen in the shade Natalie. This shade and this formula so freaking pretty. Where am I gonna swatch this? So Natalie is up at top here and this one with a gloss I feel like would be such a pretty wedding makeup lip. It's gonna last because it's a liquid lipstick and it dries down matte but if you put a gloss over top I feel like this would be such a pretty like bridal shade since it does have quite a bit of pink in it and a little bit of mauve, but it's not too overkill. Super affordable, you can almost always get BH Cosmetics on sale, they like rotate around their sales on their site. So I've definitely seen this for around like, I wanna say four or five bucks, really affordable. All right, and then the last three are new releases actually from the drugstore and they're all glosses. So this first one is the L'Oreal Glowing Lip Gloss. This is from like their summer collection, so Hopefully when you're watching this, you can run out and get it before they no longer have this collection. But this is in the shade 04 Shell, Shell, We Dance. Love the name L'Oreal. Did I say this is Revlon? It's L'Oreal. So this one has such a pretty slight peach tint to it. I don't know if this is gonna do justice, like just swatched. Usually the glosses, you know, you kinda have to see like on. Don't love the scent. Has a really strong candy scent. It smells like some kind of lip smackers. So I just kind of have to like overlook that when it's on my lips. But here it is down here. Pretty, pretty peach. I love wearing this on its own too. Like if I'm not wearing any other makeup but I just want my lips to look really glossy. Loving using this gloss when I have no other makeup on or layered on top of literally any nude. And these two I think might also be limited edition by Maybelline. I was kind of debating putting these last few in, but because they just launched, if you want to get your hands on it, you can do it right now when this video goes up, but it's the Maybelline some name. I can't read that handwriting. But the pinky one is in the shade 10 Barefoot, and then the more nude one is in the shade 20 Tan Line. These ones are a little bit more pigmented than the L'Oreal gloss I just showed you. So shade 20 on the bottom, 10 on the top. 10 is definitely more pink than the L'Oreal one I showed. And then this one is definitely much more like chocolatey and neutral. These ones smell amazing. They smell like cake batter or like vanilla. I'm much more into the vanilla scent. I just looked all around and I can't find what I wanted to show you, but if you're watching this video and they're all out of or they're no longer making this collection, Maybelline makes one of my favorite lip glosses. I'm blanking on the name of it, but I'll link it down below because I've definitely talked about it a ton on my channel, but it's a similar shade to this one where it's like a cool toned, milky kind of brown and it is gorgeous. So if you don't wanna get one of the limited edition ones, I will have that other shade linked down below too. All right, and then the last product I'm gonna talk about today is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade 55 Driver. Holy crap, you guys, if you want something that is never coming off of your lips, you need to get these lipsticks. Basically any shade of this. I have a red one that I love and I wear a lot, but if I want something that is not gonna come off my lips and that I can layer with other stuff or just wear on its own, Driver is beautiful. It's this top one up here. It dries down fully matte. Sometimes it can look a little bit peachy. I think just like depending on what I'm wearing that day or like the rest of my makeup. So sometimes I do layer this with something like this or I would wear it with like the Wet n Wild Caught You Bare Naked. Something a little bit lighter and more neutral if it's looking too peachy, but it's also just gonna depend on the undertone of your skin, how all of these are gonna look. All right, so those are all of my go to go go to that works. Go to nude lipstick shades. I basically just wear a combo of these almost all of the time. So hopefully you guys have enough options here depending on the finish that you like, the shade, the undertone, all that good stuff and how it'll look on your skin. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you can give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna have everything linked down below in the description box. But I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.